Hey guys, Chris here. In this video, we're gonna talk about the new and upcoming Polestar 3 that's going to be launched in October. And it's all official now, guys. Polestar came out with a press release yesterday confirming everything alongside one photo and one video. And it's that photo and that video we're gonna dive into detail in this video because I may have spotted a few things that, well, you guys may not have seen, which I am pretty excited about. So yeah, that is today's video. So give a thumbs up for the Polestar 3 and what we're gonna talk about in today's video. But before we do that though, I just wanna give a huge thanks to today's video sponsor, Saptec with their Saptec Go home charger. The Saptec Go is a cool, small, and stylish home charger that can charge up to 11 kilowatts on AC charging. If you wanna get a hold on, one of those you'll find a link in the description box down below so find your country and then go to that link if you live in norway though you can use the discount code saprifa to get 10 percent off your purchasing price which is pretty awesome so yeah go and do that down below guys thank you very much okay without further ado let's jump into the photo which is a photo in profile and i'm going to be looking at it on my phone here and going to overlay it for you guys on this video and first off, you can see that this is quite a large vehicle. It's also, you know, more of a fastback style. In profile, it looks more like, you know, a Volvo C40 than an XC40. And that's what Polestar have been telling us all the time. It's going to be, you know, a more sporty version compared to something like an XC90. And this is definitely the size of an XC90. You can see it from the proportions. These look like to be, I don't know, 22 inch wheels. And for you guys who have been commenting, seem a little bit confused, the Polestar 3, Polestar confirmed is going to compete with the Porsche Cayenne. This is what they've said in their investor, you know, um, uh, presentation. And the Polestar 4 is going to be a smaller car. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense. The Polestar 3 is going to be bigger than the Polestar 4. And then you have the Polestar 5, which is going to be a bigger car there again. But that's the way they decided to do it. And well, that's what we're going off here. So the Polestar 3 definitely is going to be the size as a Volvo XC90 or maybe a little bit smaller, like something like a Porsche Cayenne. And you can see it from these photos because this is a big car. So starting off with the front end, you can see that it has, you know, the signature now Polestar Thorshammer LED lights. I don't know if they're going to call it the Thorshammer or something else, but it has those, you know, signature headlights. Alongside the bottom, bottom portion where the fog light sits, it's kind of similar to what you find on a Polestar 2. So, you know, they're carrying over that design element. And then you have some, some air skirts on the front bumper or some ducts. You can see there on, on, on the hood where it's going to let in air. We've seen this on a Polestar Precept and also the Polestar 5 concept. Moving over to the side vents. I don't know, is that, there's a hole there. The video's kind of, or the photo's kind of low resolution. Is that, you know, a, a, a turn signal or is that, you know, uh, holes for letting air through as in, you know, aerodynamics? It's hard to say. And then you can see that this car has, you know, the four spoke wheels, which are very similar to what you would find on a Polestar 2 performance pack. And then you look at the brake calipers, which is gold. So that means this is probably a performance pack because if we look at the interior, you can see gold seat belts. So this version here is definitely the performance pack version, you know, with the gold seat belts and those gold brake calipers there will probably be a non-performance version. So I'm pretty excited to see what kind of setup that will have because in my opinion, the Polestar 2 with the manually adjusted dampers with the performance pack is too stiff for Norwegian roads at least. And then, you know, moving to the front door, you can see that we have that wing mirror, which is identical to what you would find on a Polestar 2, which is a frameless wing mirror. That's a design that's patented by Polestar. And then guys, excitingly, you can see in the front window there on top of the dash, something that looks like to be a tweeter. And I'm pretty sure guys that this is a Bowers and Wilkins tweeter in a new design. We know that this car is going to be built on the same platform as the upcoming Volvo XC90 or the Embla electric version of the XC90. And those large vehicles from Volvo have had the Bowers and Wilkins sound system as their top tier sound system. So I'm pretty sure that you're going to have that same sound system or a variant of that sound system in this car. And to be honest, guys, that's the best sound system I've ever heard in any car, especially at that price point at around 3,000 euros. It's amazing. And then up top of the windscreen, you see we have a big sensor cluster there. This looks kind of similar to what you'd find in a Volvo XC90, but this is supposed to hide LiDAR. But we're going to get to that later because I don't think the LiDAR sits somewhere else. Moving over to the doors, you know, it has that uh, where the where the, the fender, those plastic bits kick up into the door. 
um, kind of a design feature, and then you have side skirts below that. Um, not too exciting, not a lot to see here. You can see also the badging down low on the door, but when you zoom in, you're not able to read it. But what I find exciting or interesting is the door handle. So these look like to be the same style you would find on a Porsche Taycan like the car I'm sitting in here, where you know they don't extend all the way out like on other cars, where they instead just kick up from the top. And, and I, my opinion, if they do that, that's much better because the sense of quality of these door handles on this Porsche Taycan compared to all of those others that come out, this is so much better, feels so much more solid. I think this would also have frameless windows. As you can see, there doesn't look like to be a, you know, a lot of uh, frame around the door. And then you can see you have that, uh, you know, that design on the C pillar kicking up like you would find on a, well, a Polestar 2, I think, has that in the Polestar Precept. Uh, rear wheels, the same as the front wheels, gold, bra gold brake calipers. And then you have the rear end. So this looks, have, look, looks like to have a glass roof all over the whole roof all the way behind to the D pillar, I would say. And this is kind of similar to what you find in a Polestar Precept where the, the glass stops there. And then you have that spoiler, but it looks like this car has a rear window above the rear light cluster because all the way to the left in this photo looks like to be a rear wiper. So I'm pretty sure they're not gonna do what they wanted to do on the Polestar Precept where they wanted to just have a reversing camera in the mirror. I'm not a fan of that, so I'm pretty excited that they're gonna have a proper rear window. Will this have poor rear visibility? Probably something like a Volvo C40. Not the best, but again, this is a more sporty style. And then from this photo, you can see that it has, you know, that light cluster, kind of a 3D light cluster on the rear. Kind of reminds me of the Volvo C40. You know, this is, has some Volvo C40 design language resemblance. Of course, uh, Polestar being, you know, a, a daughter company of Volvo, so Geely owned Polestar 50% and Volvo owned Polestar 50%. And the headquarters of Polestar is right next to the headquarters of Volvo. And they share the same design chief who oversees all the design, though the head designer of Polestar is somebody else. But the same for the whole group, uh, you know, proves all the designs for Polestar also is what I've been told. So no wonder the design is similar. So let's move over to that video, which is pretty, pretty exciting. It's just a short video. But what that video shows us is that rear light cluster again with that signature, you know, uh, Polestar 2 rear light design, just slimmer. And then from the rear, it also looks very cool, very sporty. It looks very wide and very low from that night shot. And then in the front is where it's exciting because you can see it has the same, you know, those uh, uh, Thorshammer LED lights as you see in the Polestar Precept. And then it has something very exciting that I've talked to Max, the head designer of Polestar, and that is that smart zone front sensor cluster. So you can see from the video here, if you just pause it, it says smart zone sensor cluster. And I'm betting that the LiDAR is going to sit down there instead of in the front windscreen. So it's kind of cool. It has, you know, a little bit more character to the design than the renders we have seen from that camouflage photo. But I'm pretty excited, guys, hopefully, We'll see some more leaked photos and videos of this car in the time to come, or we may not see something before October, but I'm pretty excited. It doesn't look to be, you know, the most exciting in my opinion, but I said the same thing with the Volvo XC90 when that came out in 2014 or was showed at the Frankfurt Auto Show in 2014. I was like kind of meh. This is like, I'm not too impressed. I'm excited about the details here, but the overall design looks kind of okay. But what, you know, took my breath away was when I saw that Volvo in real life. I remember it so vividly, summer of 2015 or late spring, there was a black inscription model in Haugesund, uh, here, not here, but in Western Norway, and I, my jaw just dropped. I was in awe. That thing was so beautiful. I'm hoping I'll, you know, have the same experience when I see this one in person and also when we see, you know, different, more, more you know, colors and, and, and wheel specs. Again, I'm not the hugest fan of these four spoke wheel designs from the performance pack, neither the Polestar 2 or on, on this. I like other Polestar wheel designs better, but I, I think it's going to be a stunning car in real life. So guys, let me know what you think about all these details. Do you agree with me? Did I miss something that you guys want to, to share? Comment down below. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below. And for more car content, as always, Please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.